Hey everybody, Johan Warnholtz with uh, Phoenix Magazine here with Matt. We are the uh, marketing and digital directors respectively and we're very excited to be here trying some more beers. This is our third Arizona Craft Beer Review and uh, very excited to try some tasty beers. Let's show off today uh, what we have, Cashmere's Beards from Simple Machine Brewing. Um, Simple Machine obviously up there in North Phoenix, 7th Avenue in Deer Valley, um, and they do a lot of great uh, cans, a lot of great, uh, almost like weekly releases. Yep. And this is uh, one of them they did a co collaboration with Transplant City. S Transplant City Beer Company, right? TCBC is That's what right. more people kind of know them as. Um, they're at Nets out in Litchfield Park. Mm -hmm. Small brewery um, that, and Simple Machine has is, is really kind of perfected that. Um, working with these smaller breweries, these up-and-coming breweries That's over right. the last two years. And honestly, Simple Machine is a fairly new brewery, only about two years old. Um, but they do a lot of collaborations, really great collaborations with um, other breweries, smaller breweries, up-and-coming breweries. Obviously, they've housed the uh, Kitsune Brewing. Mm -hmm. um, now that he's going to get his own location here pretty That's soon, right. um, they helped him get a start. So excited to try this one. Cashmere's Beards, an American IPA. Um, West Coast IPA, if you will, 6.6 percent, 75 IBUs. So you better like the, the, your bitter beers here, Johan. And I'll get there. I'm going to show <laughs> Johan this part. It's one yeah. of the things I like about, uh, and I'll show this to the camera over here. One of the things I really like about Simple Machine is they break down the different flavors, if you will, in the beer, the tasting notes, and then what kind of glass you should drink it in. So. Um, we take that to heart, right? We, we, we like proper glassware um, as we open that up. Never drink out of a can. Cans are kind of gross, and with beer, you want to release the carbonation anyways, right? So we get you a good pour. I'm, I'm never good at pouring, so I apologize that. It's good. Um, it's good I, like, I like to release the carbonation as much as I can. Um, so, as we, so we usually drink about a quarter of these, by the way, if, in case you're wondering. We're at work. Um, first thing I notice <laughs> is always the color. Yeah. Um, real nice and clear. It almost looks like a lager. Yeah. Like a German house yeah. lager or something like that. Um, which is, I think, the first sign that you're going to get an awesome IPA. Kind of the, the lighter it is, it almost means like it might be more bitter. I don't it know if, smells just, like I don't know if that, I'm just making that up yeah. or not, but. Um, it smells like a wheat beer. It sure does. I, I'm no, not, yeah. Like, if, if you had given me this blind, I would assume that it was some sort of yeah, German Yeah, it's almost like you get, um, like you said, the wheat, almost toast, like, like the coriander. Like malty, yeah. yeah, that kind of stuff that goes into those. Wow, that's not at all what I expected. So It really does almost just taste like a hoppy lager. For sure. Yeah. For sure. This is... This is Definitely very unlike a, like most IPAs I have yeah. ever had. It's, it's very good. It's it's a little bit bigger on the um, on the IBUs, but less ABV. Um, but it's balanced. You know, you get a lot of those high balanced. high IBU beers that that just taste like you know pine sap. Yeah. And like this is this is really crushable. I mean, it's it, you can, you can get that that hop in there, but it's it's clearly got a, a decent malt. Kind of I've really enjoyed well. the stuff Simple Machine has put out over the last uh, couple of years. Um, obviously, Marshall Norris, the head brewer there, is well known in beer circles um, here in Arizona. He's been around different breweries for a while. Um, so he started up his own Simple Machine uh, right before the pandemic hit. I want to say it was like January 2020 he opened up the place. Um, but they've been really been crushing it. They, they, they do a lot of can, they do a lot of distribution. Um, you can find their stuff at some of the better beer stores, you know, your your Trevors, your Kings, your Sleepy Whales, stuff like that. Um, wherever you like to buy really good Arizona local craft beer. Um, probably not going to find it at like a Total Wine or something like that, but um, go to a go to like an Arcadia Premium or something yeah. and, and uh, seek out Simple Machine because they do really good stuff. and. Like we talked about, they do really cool collaborations to help out yeah. smaller breweries like a TCBC. Um, and I'm not familiar with them at all because um, nope, they're so far out in the West Valley, Litchfield right. Park area. So, um, Which is kind of the cool thing about Arizona breweries, I guess, is that 
there anywhere you live, there's probably one close to yeah. you, right? Yeah, and you know, it's one of those things where I think the nature of the community of beer drinkers and beer lovers is that you don't, you can open a brewery down the street from another brewery and they're not really going to like compete yeah. in the sense of, you know, putting a coffee mm -hmm. shop down the street from another coffee shop because mm -hmm. ultimately people will go to both. Then they might go to both in the same night. Yeah. But people yeah. will go, if you like beer, you're going to go to both. So that, that's one of the things I love about kind of the beer community in general. Uh, Especially your festivals, beer, you just yeah. anything beer related. If you know, the more the merrier. And they all I seem to like that. each other yeah. out here. I've heard, you know, I, I don't know, these are rumors, but I've heard like San Diego breweries aren't necessarily friendly with each other. You come to Arizona, and that's right. They all know each other. They help each other out. They collab with each other, um, and you know, they, they do. They root on. They they root each other on. Yeah, if you will. And, yeah. Um, that's a really great great thing. And. Um, well, and they like all, to celebrate together, too, yeah, which I sure. think is cool, um, which kind of leads nicely into our Arizona Craft Beer Festival and awards that are coming up on... Uh, Tell us about it, because yeah. that, I've never heard of that before. Where does that come from? Oh, right? man, it, yeah. Is this the first of its kind? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so the, uh, the festival is going to be in October. Uh, October 22nd is the date uh, that, we're, that we're going for. Um, so you'll have to keep, keep an eye out for all that all those exciting announcements of when we actually are able to to push it out. Um, we have our Instagram account, which we'll we'll put here on the screen uh, that you should follow if you're not watching it here. Um, we'll have the and the YouTube. Instagram account actually has a link to the website where more go. info is going to come. But we we yep. want to make sure that we had that. We got we got really lucky. We got azcraftbeer.com, right. right? I mean, yep. you couldn't have asked for anything better, <laughs> right? But the festival really is supposed to be a you know just another celebration of the Arizona. Uh, beer community. Um, you know, we have a lot of great awards festivals like the Great American Beer Festival in Colorado, and so we wanted to put on something that was similar, uh, but that was specific to Arizona mm -hmm. beer. So mm -hmm. um, we're kind of piggybacking off of our Best of the Valley Arizona uh, craft beer category this year, um, and then we're also doing a proper competition where beers will, or breweries will uh, submit their, yeah. their beers that they want to have judged, we'll have judges. And uh, and we'll we'll choose our winners. We'll probably announce those the day before the festival, so that when you go to the festival, you can see all the breweries and all the beers that that won, and and try the best beers in the valley. And I'm looking, in Arizona. I am looking forward to that. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. Beer festivals are always a good time, at least in my book. Um, I know you would agree with that. Uh, uh, anyone who's watching this, yeah. anyone who's watching this is going to agree with that. <laughs> That's right. So <laughs> we can say a lot of agreeable things here yes. on this uh, Arizona Craft Beer Awards and Festival account. Um, look for our videos on YouTube. Uh, we'll turn this into podcast format too if you prefer to listen to us gab and gab and gab about beer, <laughs> maybe on your ride home. Yeah. Um, inspire you to pick up a Bless four pack you on your you way do. home, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, and we can yeah. go on for days about the things we learn because both of, both of us go out and we, you know, we do videos. Check out the Phoenix Mag YouTube page. We've done videos uh, for Beer Week the last couple of years um, as we as we ramp up the digital content that interests us at least. So, um, we, we've talked to uh, obviously I've talked to Marshall Norris two years ago for Beer Week. Um, uh, we've been out to places like Goldwater and Oso and. Um, you can learn all about the people behind the beers That's right. by looking at those videos. And those are really, really fun people to talk to. Definitely. Um, Definitely. So, Cashmere's Beard, check it out. Um, I actually looked in, at the store today. It was still there, um, even though I picked this up a couple weeks ago. Um, this is, uh, you know, loaded with cashmere hops. That makes so, sense. Yeah. Cashmere's and Beards. And it's, I, yeah. I'm going to say this is the... Uh, non IPA enthusiast in this duo here. Sure. Uh, I think it's a great beer. I think it's really, really tasty. And if you are, if you're not into IPAs, but you fancy yourself an adventurous person that wants to try th new things and kind of, tr you know, do your diligence and in, in going into that kind of uh, beer and expanding your your palate, then this would be a good place to start. I had to get another sample because I, I wanted good. more of that, that fruit on the end there, and I'm starting to get that kind of on the back of the tongue there. So, um, well done, it's Simple very Machine. Well done, uh, Marshall and crew, and also at uh, TCBC. Oh, I'm and sure I don't know if we mentioned this, yeah. but it's, it's uh, named after uh, the owners of both breweries have 
epic beers. Yeah, yeah. You know, Justin, so. I think his name is at TCB, yep. uh, TCBC. Big old like you know black and gray beard from what I've seen on his online profile, and then obviously Marshall. Um, if you've met him, he's just. He's a ginger. He's a red, you know, a red, beard, red, big beard, red beard. Yeah, um, brews awesome beer, and um, we appreciate his work and right. the work out at TCBC. Nice beer, guys. Mm -hmm.